Hi, this is JP from Not Lots Over Arkham. Welcome to another deck testing video, and this time we are testing the Rogue Protection Rebuild deck, and I decided to try it out against the um, uh, Project Wide Awake scenario. The only change that I made to the uh, scenario is that I removed the Sentinels modular set and uh, replaced it with the Reverse modular set that came in the Rogue Hero pack. So. Uh, without further delay, let's get started. Okay, and we are ready to begin, so we'll just flip this over. And uh, uh, just a reminder, the Operation Zero Tolerance has a permanent, so we can't remove it even if we wanted to. So we can just basically ignore that. But uh, the, it is an extra lo loss condition for us, so... Uh, if there are X based on cards under this scheme, the players lose the game. X is uh, 3 more than the number of players, so it is 4 in a true solo game. Then um, we also have the mutants at the mall uh, side scheme in play, which has the accel acceleration token on it. Oh, yeah, and this guy comes into play with toughness. But yeah, uh, we have shuffled the deck, so let's draw our opening hand. So Rogue has the hand size of 6. Uh, let's see. Unfappable Genius Gambit, X-Gene, Preemptive Strike and Going Rogue. Okay, well, I think we don't uh, really need all of this. So I think I'm chucking the Preemptive Strike. Or, hmm, I, I think, yeah, just keeping all of it. So, we have uh, the touch here set aside. And then, we'll flip to hero mode. Nothing uh, we need to play in uh, Alter Ego. Oh, actually, we, we have to. So, I'm using the preemptive strike to play X Gene because we need to have the mutant trait. Then we'll flip. Now we can uh, generate a, a resource with this for an item specific event. Okay, and uh, I think I'm using the unfla Unflappable and Genius to play Gambit. So Gambit has three charges on, it, on him. Then uh, we don't have enough to play the going rogue, but uh, we can do this action. So we attach uh, this touch to uh, the sentinel. So we gain uh, sentinel trade, nothing useful, but Then, uh, now we have, uh, because it's uh, attached to a villain, we gain Retaliate 1. So, I think first thing we do, we will thwart this away. So, we get Jubilee. So, when the uh, see, Jubilee has spent uh, energy resource, well, we are not... That. So I think I'll just remove the tough with Jubilee. And that is our whole... Oh yeah, we didn't attack. So yeah, that is our whole turn. We'll keep this uh, wheel ready up. We'll draw back up to 5. We get Genius, Preemptive Strike, Judoka Skills, uh, Power... Uh, superpower adaptation, we have the going rogue and we go to the villain phase, we add one threat to the main scheme, sentinel attacks. I will defend with rogue and I will play preemptive strike using the... I'll use the superpower adaptation to play that. Okay, so uh, let's see. 
When a boost card is turned face up while the villain attacks, cancel all boost icons on the card, then deal one damage to the villain for each boost card cancelled this way. So, uh, two plus three, so we deal three damage, and we don't take any damage because we have a defense of two. So that that was great. Also, retaliate one, we remove one, and uh, we get an encounter card. It is uh, Sentinel mark. For guard patrol, so we need to get past that. Just marking so I remember. And that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, and uh, we only have three cards, but um, I think I'm saving the going rogue. Still. So I'm playing the Judoka skills with the strengths, and we get uh, three judo counters here. Then uh, I think Gambit uh, attacks this guy, dealing two plus one, and Jubilee will hit for one, so this goes away. That is that. Uh, quick turn. Uh, we ready up. And we draw back up to five. We get karma, defensive energy, superpower adaptation, and another going rogue. Uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Uh, s oh, yeah, this return, but I'll just put it back. Yeah, I forgot that we have to, uh, at the start of the player phase, to grab the touch back, but I'll just place it back there. So, um, we added one threat to the main scheme. Uh, Sentinel attacks, I will defend with Rogue again. And uh, 2 plus 0. We don't take any damage, but we deal 1 damage with the Retaliate and the Encounter card for this round is... Cybernetic enhancement, so attached to a minion, otherwise uh, this card gets search. We'll search that. Uh, learning AI, attached to the villain, the villain gains retaliate one hero action, spent uh, three mental resources, discard this card. Okay, I think we, we can get rid of that next round, so that's good. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. Okay, and... Uh, Uh, yeah, we, we could have used that, but we didn't need to last turn. But I'm using these three just to get rid of the learning AI. That That is not nice. Uh, or... Yeah, Karma doesn't do anything. Because we don't have a minion that we can control with her. So I'm keeping those in hand. So... We could basically uh, could basically just uh, fought, fought t uh, two here. So Gambit is defeated, and uh, that is everything we want to do. I'll keep the. I'll actually exhaust Jubilee and discard this, so we deal 2 damage here. And, oh yeah, this returned to my hand, I'll place it here. That is everything, we'll keep this in hand. We draw a 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 cards. Okay, well, of course we get this one right when we and uh, lose Gambit, but we get uh, that armor, bulletproof bell, energy transfer, and um, we have the defensive energy. So, um, we'll go to the villain phase, we add one threat to here, sentinel attacks, I, let's see. I 
I will uh, just take it. So uh, two plus uh, put Sentinel mark four into play engage with you. Okay. Well, uh, that guy has guard and patrol again. So I'll play the use the exchange to play the bulletproof bell. Uh, so we prevent all damage from that attack and gain the tough status card. Then this guy attacks, I'll just use the tough. Actually, I'll save this, I'll use this to play a defense event, so I'll draw a card. We get Iceman. Okay, and uh, we'll get an encounter card. It is uh, Cybernetic Enhancement. Attached to a minion, and uh, attached minion cannot take damage. After attached minion attacks, discard Cybernetic Enhancement. Okay, so that, that is annoying. Can't do anything to the Sentinel at this moment. But that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, and... Uh, I think so. We return this. Mm. We'll use Beauty and the Peace armor and. Uh, Energy transfer. Or should we save that? I think I want Iceman in play instead of anything else. Yeah, we'll play Iceman using these three. So Iceman comes into play with three freeze counters. And. Uh, um, then we will vote for two here, and uh, we'll place this on here. Oh yeah, and uh, we forgot to put one. I think we. Well, I'm not sure. We might have forgotten to retaliate, but it is what it is. Uh, that is everything. We'll ready up. We draw back up to five. One, two, three, four, five. Not today. Uh, unflappable, bulletproof bell, Judoka skills, and X gene. Uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. The sentinel attacks. I will take it with rogue. And. Uh, We'll get two plus uh, attach this card to the villain. So that's the villain. Uh, the villain gets plus eight hit points. Uh, spend three energy resources discard this card. Okay. Well, uh, still we'll use the X gene to play bullet or bell. So we gain a tough. So this attacks. We lose the tough. And. Uh, And uh, yeah, that's it. Everything we need to do. We really need the unflapp um, unflappable into play because we're not taking any damage. Okay, so this attack, this goes away. Now we can damage this one. Uh, we get an encounter card. It is Donald Pierce. And there are no other reavers. And I will remove one here to stun it. Donald Pierce. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, I, I forgot to add the 8 here. This returns. But I'll add 5, 6, 7, 8 help to this. Okay. Uh, I think we want to get rid of Donald Pierce as fast as possible. So I think everyone will attack that. We can. Uh, we don't have a means to remove that, so we'll just attach this here. Mm. 
Uh, we'll play on flappable and we'll uh, use this to you uh, deal two damage here with Jubilee. Then we'll just hit with these two and we'll actually place this here. We don't need to put it on this one so that we get rid of the uh, Donald Pierce. And we still need to get rid of this one later. But that is it. So we'll discard that. We'll draw back up to five. One, two, three, four, five. And we have Saturn Cross not today, Saturn Cross not today, and Preemptive Strike. So attack traits. Okay, uh, we'll add one threat to the main scheme. Uh, Sentinel attacks. I will. I will defend. Uh, two plus one. Uh, we will. Uh, we will use this so we don't take any damage. And unflappable to draw a card. We get energy transfer. This guy attacks. I'll just take the two damage. Uh, we get an encounter card. It is uh, warn the warn the others. So forced response after your turn and place this card face down under Operation Zero, zero Tolerance. Alter ego action. Exhaust your identity. Discard this card. We can't do anything about that because we can't exhaust our identity unless. Um, we could play this actually. Okay, well, we'll see you next round. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. So uh, this round we will discard this with Jubilee to deal two damage here. And Iceman will finish off this enemy. Then uh, Oh yeah, this goes away. We'll attach it here. We will uh, play character-specific event and use these two so that we deal six damage and uh, we have retaliate, so we stun the enemy. So six damage and a stun. And I messed it up, so I, I forgot. Well, we're just forgetting about that one. So it is the first card to go underneath, so we don't mind. So we ready up. We draw back up to five. Uh, unflappable uh, defensive energy, southern cross energy, southern cross. So we are going to be beating this sentinel down as fast as possible. Fortunately we don't have two uh, lightning resources to get rid of that health boost. But it is what it is. So that is our hero phase. We'll go to the uh, villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Uh, sentinel attacks. I'll just defend Exhaust your identity. Well, that was a good defense, so three, but we won't take any damage, so we'll draw a card. Double energy, so that is great. We can get rid of the health boost next round. Uh, we'll get an encounter card. It is Sentinel Mod 3, so it comes into play with toughness. And uh, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, and uh, first thing we do is get uh, use these three cards to get rid of this. So this guy loses eight, so we'll just put two here. This come uh, returns to our hand. Um, 
And we forgot to retaliate again, I think. Well, it is what it is. Um, we'll place this here. So now, uh, it is attached to a minion. We, uh, rogues attacks gain overkill. So, uh, we will use this this or uh, we'll just oh yeah Iceman would have stunned this so we'll stun it so I think uh, and I forgot that this was stunned well um, I think we drew one of these so I'll just shuffle it back because we couldn't use these ones. Yeah, I think I messed up with the stun, but it is what it is. Can't change that. Uh, so I am going to hit with Iceman here for two. Iceman is defeated. Then uh, we will uh, replenish the health for e to 18. Okay, so we get the abduction uh, protocol side scheme. So Let's search for that. Oh yeah, this went here. Abduction protocols. We need to defeat that one at some point, so we get an ally. Uh, it comes into play with two threats, and then... Um, I will use the X gene and these two cards to play the Southern Cross. So we have Overkill. We don't do anything uh, extra. But yeah, we'll deal 6 damage here and 3 damage Overkill over here. This. Oh yeah, I'll just defeat, uh, remove the tough with Jubilee. So this has victory one, so goes victory display. Then uh, we'll overkill for three damage. This goes away. And we remove the three damage already. And that is everything. We ready up. We draw back up to five. We get Judoka skills, X Gene, Going Rogue, Moira McTaggart, and Rogue's Jacket. So that we would have wanted to have a, a bit earlier, but it is what it is. So uh, that is the hero phase. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat here. Sentinel attacks, and uh, uh, let's see. I won't defend this time. So 3 plus 2 is 5. Uh, we'll take 5, except that. We'll just take the 5. <laughs> yeah. Uh, encounter card is uh, Abduction Protocol. So we have two. <laughs> we need to get rid of at least one now. Okay, and that is the. Villain phase, let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, we'll just place this over here. I'll play... Uh, I'll use the Moira McTaggart support to play Rogue's Jacket. So this gives us a uh, plus one attack when the touch is attached to an enemy and plus one ward when it's attached to an uh, ally or a friendly character. Then I will, uh, let's see, I will 
uh, get rid of one of these. So, uh, when defeated the player who defeated this team takes uh, one random set aside captive ally and puts it in play under their control. We shuffle these captives. Oh. Shuffle, shuffle. And we get boom boom. So after boom boom attacks an enemy plays one bomb counter on it. At the end of the player phase remove all bomb counters from play and deal two damage to each enemy for each bomb counter removed from, the, from it this way. So after... Yeah, so we'll deal one damage and uh, later deal two more damage. And just thinking which counters should I use as the bombs. Just use this one, so that is to remind me to place the bomb counter. Then I will, going rogue, play this. So... will confuse an enemy and we remove two, three threats from a scheme we can't remove anything from the air because of this so uh, again this goes to victory display and we will shuffle these and we'll get Wolfsbane so Wolfsbane attacks gain piercing oh yeah this guy actually has tough So the overkill would have gone to the top. Yeah, so we'll just place these back here. 18 health. Okay. Then um, we'll get Wolf Spain in play. Wolf Spain will attack for 2 damage here. No, actually, we'll remove 1 threat from here. So that, that that doesn't advance, and boom boom will hit for one damage here, and we'll put this bomb counter here. That is everything we're ready up. We draw back up to five, so we only have two cards. So we uh, shuffle our deck for a new draw deck. Only 15 health to go on the Sentinel, so I think we can do this in a couple of turns if we get some uh, right cards out of the shuffled deck. Okay, so one, two, three. Southern Cross, that is what we need, and Gambit, so those two could help us win faster. Then we have, uh, oh, Buyuti and the Thief, so we want to play Gambit and get that played. Okay, well, uh, we'll go to the villain phase. Uh, Sentinel, uh, we'll add one here. Sentinel attacks, I will defend. Uh, Sentinel will hit for 3 damage plus 0, so we'll use Judoka skills. And uh, we'll draw a card, we don't take any damage, we get a replacement judoka skills but I think we are using that as a resource uh, and counter cards for this round R. Uh, Sentinel Mark 2 if Operation Zero Tolerance is played, Sentinel Mark 2 gains search otherwise uh, well the search is mutant detected uh, when revealed choose place the top card of your deck face down underneath yeah I will just place one card here and uh, it doesn't search. Okay, so we choose that. Then we get the warn the others, so this comes into play here. So that is that round. Now let's go to the next round. Okay, well, let's see how we can do this round. So we want to play Gambit. So we play Gambit using Southern uh, Super Power Adaptation. This goes here. Oh yeah, this uh, got one retaliate again. We place it uh, there. So we'll use this, this, and how do we play this one? 
Mm. I think that we'll have to wait for next round. And that too. So those two will definitely deal enough damage. So we'll um, use this three to play Gambit. And uh, Gambit will defeat this Sentinel and uh, deal uh, one extra damage here with this charge. Because that can be a different target. Uh, Wolfsbane will hit for two damage here. And Boom Boom will hit for... Oh yeah, this exploded. Uh, so we actually remove two last round. So we deal one, then we add this. So we have ten damage left. And uh, actually, back up. We'll, uh, we'll actually thwart for one here with boom boom. Because we uh, can't let this advance. And this goes here at the end of our round, so we are one away from losing. This might be risky, but it is what it is. We'll draw back up to five. So, energy transfer, not today, super adaptation, southern force, and beauty and the thief. Uh, we'll go to the villain phase, we add one here. Uh, Sentinel attacks. I will actually, yeah, I'll defend with Rogue, and uh, we'll take one. Except I uh, will play not today with energy transfer, so we get plus two defense. We don't take any damage. We'll get a card, X Gene, and. Uh, if you take no damage from that attack, remove two threat from a scheme. So we remove two from here. And uh, encounter card is uh, Murray Rees. So team of Reaver, when revealed, first encounter deck and discard file for a copy of the cybernetic enhancements attachment and add attach it to Murray Rees. So we just ignore this guy and try to defeat the uh, Sentinel. Okay, so this guy has this. And. Uh, we retaliated one, touched. Okay, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I can uh, end this this round. So mm, let's see if we can play the beauty and the thief, or should we play Saturn Cross? So we get to deal three damage with this. 2 damage, so that's 5, 6, 7, 8, so it doesn't matter which one of these we play. Okay, this com comes back here, but I'll place it over here. This guy doesn't have guard, just cannot take damage, so we ignore it. So, we'll start with Gambit, uh, we'll deal 3 damage. Then uh, Wolf's Bane is defeated, but deals 2 damage. Boom Boom is defeated, but uh, deals 1 damage. And uh, last thing we do is we'll play Beauty and the Thief with these two. And we will remove 4 threat from the scheme and deal 4 damage. And that is game. So, a Rogue uh, managed a win against the uh, Project Wide Awake scenario, uh, even though we changed the reverse set into the encounter deck. But that was pretty good. I, I think the Rogue rebuilt uh, protection deck works quite well, except for uh, there are three copies of these unflappables, uh, X-Genes, and not today, 
well not today but the judoka skills which are one max one per player so i was uh, having a lot of those in hand when i already had them in place so i couldn't play another one but that's of course uh, because they provide the full playset in a hero pack but the pre-build uh, it's it's annoying when you try the pre-build and it has those uh, multiples and you are playing through solo so you can't even play them underneath uh, different players but yeah that was Froke's pre-built protection deck against the project uh, wide awake scenario with the reverse and counter check hope you guys like this playthrough thanks for watching and until next time